My name's Jeremy. I work for a uh, sports publishing company called Click On, and we're in the Denver area this week doing a documentary about the relationship between golf and the cannabis industry out here. The relationship between golf and what? And cannabis, like the pot industry. Uh, I don't think this, that uh, this club is probably the club that would be a good fit. Good afternoon, golf shop. Sit down for like a 10, 15 minute interview with us. Our pro is actually out of town. You know, they're all busy at the moment. <sighs> Hold on. Okay. He wants to see, basically wants to interview like Kevin or Tara, somebody, and like see how cannabis relates to the golf industry. Tara, absolutely not. Like she doesn't even like weed. Yeah. Um. Can you maybe call us back in like at two? That's not a no. So I I think we have to look at that as a positive. You're at home, and you're thinking. Where's my next vacation going to be? Obviously, you're thinking golf destination. Why not go play golf in Colorado where your ball does fly further and you're probably a little higher as well? I mean, we're on the golf course to relax. Like, especially if I'm trying to get over, like, some double bogeys or something. Oh, yeah. Like, I got to smoke weed. Are we more concerned with having fun or performance and every time having fun? Yeah. You know, I will sacrifice a few strokes to have fun. It's not out, boy! It's gonna be a very fun day. On the Colorado Cannabis Tours, we go to a dispensary. We tour a row house as well. Then the glass blowing demo is at Glasscraft. The flame is running about 4,000 degrees. Low the whole goal of it is to really shift the perspective in the mainstream and give people an insight into living with cannabis daily. A lot of that happens by people starting the conversation. Um, I encourage people to go home and share their experience here on the tour and help shift that perspective even a little bit. I own an edible company or marijuana infused product manufacturer. There's still a lot of confusion around is it safe, is it not safe. I want to educate. Cannabis is really not dangerous. There's all these cabinoids related to marijuana. It has all these different kind of chemical components to it. All the healing properties of marijuana come from CBD. There's all kinds of different things that it helps mood disorders, anxiety disorders, depression. CBD, CBG, CBN, which by the way are all completely unscheduled, completely legal, can be grown in industrial hemp, um, are, are amazingly powerful anti-spasmodics uh, and anti-inflammatories. As a golfer, a lot of my issues come in like my legs and my thighs. Have you ever used the cannabis topicals before? No, I'm not. Okay. We do get people with fibromyalgia um, that are sick with cancer. We get people like you guys with athletic injuries. I think most people, when they think of it, they just think of, oh, the reefer madness. I'm gonna get, you know, so high, I'm gonna forget my name and all of these things. No, there are positives of this, you know, of this plant. There needs to be more studies, of course, but it's said to shrink tumors, promote memory, so it's um, helping with Alzheimer's. I think it's it's like it's a miracle um, oil. You just you you feel your whole muscles relaxing a lot quicker than I feel like you would with a normal massage. Yeah, like mentally, like I don't feel different. It, it's just a little added bonus almost. I like the idea. I think if we could incorporate it more into the golf industry, I think it would be amazing. Just like beer and golf go together. I think weed and golf go together. Recreational marijuana is definitely not something we shy away from here, take a hit before you hit. I haven't had any complaints about people smoking weed here at all. I do have a lot more younger people coming in and a lot more just open-minded people coming in. So it's the back nine. We said we were uh, going to do as the locals do, so I guess it's time to indulge. So yeah. Let's see what happens.
still feel the same. I don't think anything's changed as of yet. Maybe a little bit relaxed. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Jedi mind trick. It's creating a multi-billion dollar industry. We're seeing tax revenues that are going to schools, that are going to neighborhoods. Our potholes are being fixed. Our street lights are being fixed more often. Our kids are going to go to better schools to get a better education because of the way Colorado has legalized marijuana. I think, especially in Colorado, the stigma needs to go. The direction that cannabis is evolving into is the right direction. Colorado's done a really good job of of modeling the industry from rules and regulations to an economic perspective. Even if golf tries to fight it, it's going to be there. Everything's better on weed.